is Fiat's reach in North America. It won't take a blue pill, no. It will just take more work, more hard work, uh, some other great Fiat's and also all the commitments of the North American team uh, under my friend Tim Koniskis. I realize that today we are almost exactly five years uh, to the day of the uh, reintroduction uh, of Fiat to this market. Yes, we started Fiat uh, literally here in LA in 2010 on this stage. But you know, uh, at the time uh, to launch the brand, uh, we, all we had really uh, was speech. I mean, we had no brand presence. The small car segment was a micro segment, 0.05 of the industry. Uh, we had no network, zero dealers, and zero customers too. When you have no car park to sell to, you need 100% conquest. But we went from uh, a speech to a brand in record time, and here we are, five years later, over 200,000 units sold and over 200 stores. And as you can see on the slide, uh, the GFK research um, tells us the awareness is up uh, 76%, our consideration is up 20%, and 95% of our sales are conquests. Uh, and Fiat has the highest level of perception in the industry. I mean, in America, the people who drive a Fiat are incredibly proud of their little car. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that we can't sell more cars. And my purpose today is um, pretty much the opposite. It's all about the blue pill. It's about adding excitement. But what we are saying here is that at least the cars we sold, we sold for the right reasons. Look at what our buyer says about Fiat. It stands out, it's essential to my life, it's pure Italian driving experience. You know, looking back at 2010, I, I, I realized, I really think that the last thing the American market needed was another nameplate, another brand. Seriously, there were 41 brands and 290 nameplates in the market space. Showing up with another brand in such a crowded market is probably not enough. You have uh, to have a purpose. No brand can succeed without a purpose a reason why, something distinctive. And good thing, the consumer discovered very quickly that Fiat is exactly that. It is the furthest thing to another brand. It embodies uh, uh, an experience that could not be found in the market before. The Italian driving experience, the freedom of expressing yourself, the style that only Italy can deliver. It definitely has a purpose. The customers love uh, our Fiat, but what I love even more is that in the past five years we've been seeding a positive message uh, also for the non-customers. I listen to the people in the street, the non-owners, even the immigration uh, officer at the Detroit airport, my weekly barometer of the brand perception. They do like us, they remember our commercials, they enjoy seeing uh, our little Fiat, they connect. And I look at you today, I look at the uh, audience, and I'm humbled uh, to see such an interest. Look, on YouTube last year, uh, our uh, 500X uh, presentation gathered over half a million views. Half a million, I mentioned a number because that's not a traditional product reveal number. That's way more than our fair share of attention. I mean, uh, people are drawn to the brand regardless of whether they are um, in the market for a small car. So, why that? Take it from a Frenchman. I think that every American has a dormant Italian gene. <laughs> and what does Fiat? It brings it to life, it activates it. So I know it's a fun slide, but the Italian gene uh, is not just about bringing more fun uh, to the auto show. No, it's about bringing something more unique. It's about providing exclusivity and accessibility at the same time. And as a matter of fact, in the 15 to say $30,000 price range, not many cars offer passion, even as an option. You'll find attainable coasters, but you won't find much exclusivity. Well, Fiat proves that uh, exclusivity isn't reserved for those with an open checkbook. The moment you step in, it makes you stand out. 
So let me ask you, can a humble brand make a big statement about who drives it? Fiat does that. I like the idea that some brands uh, have this little supplement of soul, a special DNA, a special way um, to be special, to be part of something, to be relevant. So we brought uh, to the stage, uh, or to the stand, sorry, two examples of how Fiat is starting to blend into the most iconic uh, pieces of American fabric. Fashion on one hand, entertainment on the other. On the fashion side, I'm proud of our collaboration with uh, Diane von Furstenberg. Diane is an amazing ambassador for the brand and for today, Diane chose to wrap a plus-sized model, our 500X. On the uh, entertainment uh, side, you can be in a leg without a lot to Hollywood. That's why you see uh, this very unique Stormtrooper inspired 500 Electric crafted by my friend Lapo uh, from Garage Italia in a galaxy far, far away, Milan. <laughs> well, it's as electric uh, as a toaster, but uh, at the same time, it is as unique and aspirational as it gets. And this is the whole point. On one hand, you have toasters. A sea of sameness, commodities, affordable commodities. On the other, um, you have the aspirational offer. It does make you uh, stand out, but you have to pay a premium to get it. So, between these two extremes, where is Fiat? Here you are, right in the middle, between affordable and aspirational. Because more than affordable, more than just aspirational, Fiat is simply inspirational. It doesn't take much to be happy. When you enjoy the simplest and truest things, asking for nothing more than what you've got. Look at your swimming pools. They'll never be enough. Like your fancy watches and your big cars. One day you realize that what matters is not the size of your car. It's the size of your yacht. <laughs> Well, as you heard in the commercial, last year's tune and, uh, and keyword for Fiat was happy. This is why we joined hands with Mr. Pharrell Williams in the first place. But let's face it, uh, for us, happiness is in the numbers. And in order to reach uh, higher numbers, we need to take Fiat to a bigger market space. We need to expand uh, the customer base uh, to customers who need bigger, who need more capable, who need more all weather. So what do you do? You take the codes of a legendary American, uh, Italian uh, design and you translate it into American. You take everything you like about the Grande and you make it a Venti. Well, we call it uh, 500X. It's bigger, more capable and all weather. I insist on all weather because um, there is no doubt. In the smile states, Fiat is now well established. 74% of our sales today come from the south. So the most logical uh, way to expand our reach is to take on the rest of the country, to take on winter, to take on the snow. I mean, if you are in, say, Minnesota, as much as you like our little Fiat, you may not be comfortable driving a 500 all year long. It's a fact. Uh, but now you can definitely drive a 500 X. If you are in the mountains, say Denver, as much as you love uh, your Fiat, you are forced to drive a Subaru. So now I give you the X, a perfect Fiat for the snow belt. crossover with available all-wheel drive makes six more weeks of winter pretty appealing. <laughs> That's Percy Tony Filippo and he's screaming to get your attention because our all-wheel drive is a big deal for Fabrodex. It is not only super capable, it also delivers the fuel economy you expect from a Fiat thanks to the disconnecting rear axle. 
and whether it's uh, on the snow or not, 500X is one of the safest vehicles on the road. Any road, any season. Look, 500X is the only one in this class with uh, IIHS Top Safety Peak Plus. The only one in this class with over 70 safety features, including some you wouldn't expect in a car like this. Forward Collision Warning Plus, Blind Spot Monitoring and Lane Sense Departure Warning. Oh, I know. I'm pretty much sounding like a traditional car salesman with a list of vehicle features and benefits. But uh, while we have a passion for the substance of a 500X, we must remember that it's a Fiat. It also speaks to style. It's an icon. So we decided uh, to ask one of the most famous models in the world to take it for a test drive. So we didn't hire a model from Victoria's Secret. The wings couldn't fit. We didn't ask a swimsuit model to skimpy. We didn't hire Heidi Klum, too German. So let's discover together who's left. The Fiat 500X. The perfect fashion accessory to complement any look. Even new steel. I know. I was driving one hot. Make every week feel like Fashion Week. Honestly, I think the work speaks for itself. So no, we're not going to offer a blue steel edition of the 500 x uh, But the Rex Zoolander will strike a pose uh, with our Fiat in the upcoming sequel. Which, after all, makes sense because as a category, the small crossovers are definitely in fashion. And 500X, since last month, is at the top of the pack with growth month over month of 91%. So the 500X uh, doesn't just add a uh, blue pill to our numbers, it takes the happiness from the original 500 design and adds some freedom. I mean, the freedom to wander, the freedom to roam, the freedom to feel. This is a very fiat approach uh, to freedom. But there is another fiat connotation for freedom the open roads and the open air, the Italian art of driving, uh, a road that takes you from a place to a state of mind. It's almost a cliche, I know, but it is one we all like. Open air, a smile on your face, the note of an unmistakable engine in your ear. And automatically, uh, another iconic Fiat from the 60s comes to mind, the 124 Spider. For the US, it is even more iconic than the 500 itself. Uh, with over 170,000 sold in America and still today 8,000 on the roads. So what made 124 such an icon? First, it was an attainable rear-wheel drive uh, roadster, but not any roadster. This one had an incredible design from Pirin Ferreira's legendary Tom Jorda. Back in the days, uh, the master mixed two projects. The front came from Ferrari GTS 1964 and uh, the back came from incredible but true from america it was originally designed for the corvette 1963 rondinet prototype the two inspirations merged in harmony in 1966 and a legend was born so next year 2016 marks the 50th anniversary of the icon but for us for fiat it will mark something even more important it will mark our return to the open air market from the top down, it will deliver more than style, more than performance, more than even 50 years of history. It will deliver, in a very fiat fashion, a blast of freedom.
Please welcome the 2017 Fiat 124 Spider. The icon is all new, but the spirit, the one from a vintage Spider on the wall, never left. Refined features, Italian charm, and a blast to drive, both fun and confident. The iconic design is here, it's in front of you, and it's respectful of its Italian heritage, because in Italy, we think that performance is nothing without style. But more importantly, this car, like every new Fiat, is all about substance. First of all, when you drive a Spider, it's about the fun to drive experience. So how does Fiat bring even more fun to an already fun party? It starts with the, uh, the winning formula of the 60s. Uh, rear wheel drive, great power to weight ratio, short throw shifting, and the wind in your California hair. Our new Spider takes everything that makes a convertible visceral and exciting and dials it up. How? It starts with some venom, a turbocharged 1.4 liter multi-air engine with 184 pound-feet of torque and 160 horsepower. An engine built in Italy, that's the heart of the Spider. And make no mistake, this engine comes standard on all price classes. This is an engine you are already familiar with uh, from the 500 Arbats. So the technology is definitely proven. For the 124, it is paired with a six-speed manual or automatic transmission, uh, a double wishbone front suspension and multi-link rear suspension. You know, it's not a dream, it just drives like one. The dream part here was to bring together fun and confidence. You're an average driver, well, you will feel totally confident and empowered. But if you are a good driver, you will unleash your inner and ready. So while the Fiat 124 is all about respect, respect for the heritage, it also pays respect to its driver. It has authentic Italian craftsmanship, attention to detail and quality. Let me quickly uh, walk you through the cabin. So here's what you will easily notice. Unique tailor-made sport seats, leatherette wrap IP with soft touch materials and premium looking black piano accents. An available Fiat Connect 7.0 featuring a seven inch TFT navigation and Pandora radio capability. And the beauty is you can enjoy the great sound whether the top is up thanks to the nine speaker Bose premium uh, system, sound system or down uh, thanks to the dual headrest speakers. So all this is visible at the first glance. But let me ask you, what is the most visible feature in a convertible? The top, obviously. Well, our Spider gives you the quickest and easiest top to operate. Look at this. You can literally go topless with a flick of the wrist. But the best surprise is um, what you don't see. An incredibly wide cabin, thanks to an acoustic front windshield, added instrumental uh, instrument panel insulation, and thickness of the rear glass. The 124 Spider will give you the widest cabin in its class. We also have made a massive commitment to safety. This is a car that will be sold to a wide variety of consumers. All will, as we said before, unleash their inner and ready. But let's face it, not all are seasoned drivers. That's why safety is as big of a deal as it was for 500X. You get rear cross path detection, blind spot monitoring, a part view rear camera with grid lines, and much more. It all comes down to engineering, craftsmanship, and conviction. It screams substance to the touch and whispers a quiet confidence to the driver. The Fiat 124 is the quintessential fun to drive Italian convertible roadster. A roadster that can't resist caressing the curves. A roadster that proves that when the top goes down, pulses go up.
exciting about Fiat. But let's be clear, the roadster is not a big segment. Spiders are driven by few. But fundamentally, we think that our potential is bigger than the segment. We believe we can appeal to the huge number of people who aspire to a car like this. People who have been on the fence, people who haven't dared to realize their dreams so far. These are people who generally are embracing the time of transition, a new sense of freedom. They are already sniffing around the web, so we will welcome them to embrace the bite of a spider. They are uh, ready to convert, so we let them know that a convertible is not just a car that changes, but a car that changes you. To these dreamers, we will dedicate a limited run of the first 124. So like this one here, uh, it will be feature uh, never to be repeated blue Italia paint scheme with saddle interior and all the premium amenities our spider has to offer. Well, the 124 spider will round out our big Italian family and deliver the promise we made to our studios that they would have fun fiats, fast fiats, bigger fiats and more capable fiats. What you see on the stage today is literally history in the remaking. Well, let's wrap this. On one hand, we have Fiat 500X, a perfect primary car. On the other, you have a convertible roadster, which is not necessarily the ideal primary car. But both are Fiat, so they must be a primary source of fun, a primary source of pleasure, a primary expression of sheer driving enjoyment. Because they have some things that you won't find everywhere else. The soul of Italy. You know, a Fiat is not Italian because we say it's Italian. It's not Italian because of a batch. It's Italian because of something that runs deeper than its Italian engine, speaks louder than a note of its tailpipe. It's not something we'll necessarily see or even hear. It's something that you can only feel. And that's the heart of everything Fiat. Thank you. Members of the press, please hold the press photography. Oh, yes, guy. Oh, that's not an effect. Oh, don't. 